Hi, welcome to the New Wave Cooking Club. I'm Jennifer, the executive chef for New Wave Oven. Today we're gonna do a pork roast with a pineapple relish. Love, love, love this recipe. We're gonna be using our extender ring kit. I have about a six pound roast and this roast is gonna go for about two hours. It's 20 minutes to 22 minutes a pound. Um, so anyways, let's get going because we have a lot to do. Okay, for, I'm a big queen of marinating things. So we're gonna take a little bit of olive oil and while this is marinating, I'm gonna sh make my pineapple relish real quick. Just a little bit of soy. I do not put any salt on any of my meats because it draws out moisture, but I do use a low sodium so uh, soy sauce. Then we're gonna take some garlic. As much as you want, I love garlic, so we use a lot in my house. Once again, your hands are your best tool if they're clean. Okay, a little bit of black pepper. Some little sweetness of some brown sugar. This also helps brown and caramelize the meat. Now, I wanna show you another little trick. This is ground ginger. <coughs> I'm not big into uh, measuring things. I just don't have the time. But what I do, what I learned from a chef friend of mine back in the day, is if you cup your hand like this and fill the cup, you know, your, your, hands are, your fingers are a little bit curved up, and you fill that in, that's roughly a teaspoon. I mean, excuse me, a tablespoon. If you cup your hand so you're making a V and you pour in, your ground ginger, just fill that hole. That's about a teaspoon. So that's how I measure. So when you ever see, see people doing that on TV, that's what that's all about. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more moisture to this. All right, we're gonna give it a quick stir. And see how nice and thick it is? That's that brown sugar. Oh, it smells wonderful. If you have fresh ginger, go ahead and use fresh ginger. And just pour it on, no rhyme or reason. Now at home, you just want to put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours. Or if you're gonna freeze this, go ahead and freeze it in one of those large plastic bags. Just get it all over there. Perfect. And I'm just going to let it sit here while I do the pineapple relish. Okay. I just bought some canned pineapple in its own juice. I don't like the sugar. Uh, it's not pineapple season where I am right now. And I have some parsley we're going to put in there. But I'm going to show you, I love red onion. I, people don't use enough red onion in my opinion. It has a nice sweetness, yet it's got a tang at the end of it. And when I cut an onion, I cut it in half, and you wanna leave the root on. Then I just make a little small cut, and that helps me peel down. So then it all just pulls off. Throw that in my garbage can. Now, for sliced onion, because I want nice big slices, I am going to take the root. I'm just going to make a V cut and cut it off. And then, using my very sharp knife, which never goes in the dishwasher. Never, never, never put your knives in the dishwasher. And a lot of people say, Chef, where do you get your knives sharpened? I personally sharpen mine myself. I learned that at... Um, CIA where I went to school, but a, a lot of people don't know this, your local sewing stores, they usually have knife guys that come in once a month and sharpen knives. So if you're looking for someone to sharpen knives, that's where you would go. Okay. And just break it up. I just love the nice big pieces, the way it looks. All right, fresh parsley, 
dry parsley just doesn't work in this recipe. If you don't like parsley, I always use flat leaf parsley also because curly leaf, there's nothing wrong with it. I just find that it's a little gritty. It's a little dirtier, so you have to wash it more. All right, all we're gonna do, a little kosher salt. In my kitchens, all of my kitchens, I always have kosher salt and black pepper in little containers so they're at easy reach. And then I'm just gonna let this, give it a little shake here. Ooh, isn't that pretty? This is a beautiful, beautiful dish. Now with the juices, it is, I did drain some of the juice, but some of the pineapple juice is at the bottom. We're just gonna let that sit and infuse all their flavors together. And then we're gonna put the pork on. All right, I am using New Wave's extender ring kit. And one of the reasons I'm doing this, if you don't have the extender, extender ring kit and you love your New Wave, I really recommend ordering one and getting one. They're fabulous, especially for your turkeys, your large hams. But for the pork, I don't wanna turn it. So I put it on my four inch rack and I'm gonna show you the size of the dome. I'm just gonna place him right there. Okay, and with the extender ring, your dome sits on it just like it would if you didn't have it, okay? So we said 20 minutes a pound. Now remember, these are estimates, depending on the size of your roast. So this new wave goes up to two hours, 20 minutes a pound, we have six pounds, that's two hours. So we're just gonna hit, touch and go, start. And in two hours, we'll be back to slice it up and show you how perfectly this roast is gonna come out. Pork should be about 170 degrees internally, and I'm gonna show you how to take that temperature. So I'll be back and I'll see you then. All right, our pork is done. It actually went off about 10 minutes ago, but like I said, we want to let our meat sit. So it's been sitting about 10 minutes. That way the meat can rest and the juices can settle down. As you can see, I ended up tenting it and it was outside the dome and that's fine. It's fine. Ooh, that looks fabulous. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, let's move this. Let's cut a piece and see. Oh, you know what? I wanted to also tell everyone, when you see that I have butcher twine, just ask your butcher to do it for you or if you know how to do it. Maybe I can do that on a tips and tricks segment to show you how to uh, cut a, or twine up a roast. But anyways, your butcher will be glad to do it for you. And a lot of times they come already um, tied up. So here we go with the roast. Now that's all the brown sugar and garlic and caramelized. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. Very excited. Okay, then we have our pineapple and red onion, a little salt, pepper, parsley, and I just like to throw that down in front so that your guest or your family or whoever can take a piece along with the meat. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoy it. See you next time.